Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I wanted to take a look at getting FL Digi installed on the Pi. Now, before you follow this video, make sure that you followed our video on getting FL Rig installed. There's a lot of dependencies uh, that are required for FL Digi to work. And you also need this here, FLX ML RPC installed. That's all in that video uh, with FL Rig, so you don't have to install FL Rig if you're not interested in that, but everything else is required before FL Digi is going to work for you. So like I said, I'll leave a link to that up at the top. Make sure you've got that done before you jump into FL Digi. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the terminal window. So starting with one of the latest versions of FL Digi, I was having trouble getting that to compile on the Pi. Uh, so I had to do some searching around in the forums and finally came up with the answer. We've just got to enable a swap file so that we have enough memory available while compiling FL Digi. Now there's some uh, back and forth with swap files. Uh, you don't want to leave it turned on permanently probably because it does increase the read-write uh, number of cycles to your SD card and can prematurely wear out your SD card. So we'll turn it on and then we'll go back in and turn it off once we're finished up. Okay, so I'm going to paste in this first command here and I'll leave a, a list of these commands down in the description below so you can copy and paste as well. So this is the first one, the swap file that we're going to go in and edit. We'll press return. Okay, so once the file opens up, let's come down to this line here and uncomment that line by removing that first character. And then let's come down to this line here and we're going to change this 100 to 512. All right, we'll go ahead and escape out of that with Control X, Y, and Enter. The next thing we'll do is go ahead and restart that service so that our new swap file partition is active. So we'll go ahead and issue that command there, and that should be good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and move into the downloads directory, and let's jump over to the website so that we can get the link that we need. All right, in here we're going to click on, and I'll leave a link to this site down in the description below. Let's click on FL Digi. Let's find the tar.gz file, right click on it, and say copy the link location and head back over to the Pi. Once we're back in our terminal window, let's type wget and paste in that link that we just got from the website. Okay, so now we need to uncompress that, so we'll issue tar-zxvf, and we'll start typing fldigi and just press our tab key on the keyboard to auto-expand and go ahead and uncompress that file. Okay, so if we list out our directory here, you'll see that we have a new folder here, fldigi. So let's move into that folder. And next we're going to run a configure command. That takes a couple of minutes to finish up. Next, we're gonna issue the make command. Okay, well patience is definitely required after running the make command. Uh, that took approximately 30 minutes to finish. Fortunately, through the magic of video, you don't have to sit through all 30 minutes of that. All right, our next command is going to be sudo make install. And last but not least will be sudo ld config. Okay, so let's go ahead and just clear that screen. And we'll move back to our home directory. Before we fire up FL Digi, let's go ahead and remove that swap file information that we entered at the beginning of the video. So we'll go into the swap file again. And we want to come down to this line and comment it out. And then we'll go ahead and change this back to its default value of 100. Let's press Control X. Y and enter to get out and then let's restart that service again. Now 
And let's try FL Digi. At this point, you should see the configuration wizard, and you can go ahead and set that up. Alright guys, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button down below, and the subscribe button along with that bell so you'll be notified of future videos like this. We'll see you guys on the next video, 7-3.